Looking at league leaders, we'll start with the Ameri or the National League. Nick batting over 400. This definitely will not last, but I'm curious to see how long he'll be able to hold this. Ian Happ, a couple of guys batting well above 300. All in all, 16 players batting above 300. Extra base hits. Turner, 14 doubles leading the way. Lee, he's second in doubles. First in triples with three. Home runs. Ozuna, the only one in double digits, but you have Muncie and Betts, both not too far off, nine and eight. Carp with seven, so he's tied for fifth. No, he's not batting great in terms of batting average and getting on base. He's still hitting for power. Runs batted in, a couple guys with 25, different teams. Stolen bases, got Edmund tied for third. The funny thing is Mason Wynn is tied for eighth. He has six, but his batting average, pretty awful at 108. Pretty much non-existent. Back in, sorry. For OPS, you see a couple guys batting over 3,000. That's your line there. Matt, pretty close. A very impressive there. Wins Wheeler pacing the National League with five. And saves two guys have hit double digits. We looked at that with the uh, all star voting. Helsley close with nine. ERA, Phillies 1.1, Colby. But then you've got Lance Lynn at 1.16 and Miles Michaelis at 1.38. Even better than that Otani guy. We'll take that. Shutouts a couple of guys with one, Miles with one. I'm pretty sure now nah, Lynn didn't get it blew it late. And then K's. Otani running away with 60. Complete games. Two. Otani with the most innings pitched. Whip. Lynn and Miles top two. And then you got Kyle Gibson lurking at number six. So not bad. Pitcher war. Otani. Lynn and Miles. Love it. Batting. Mookie doing well. What's up, Lexi? In the American League, Riley Green batting 426. Of course, again, this will not last. A couple guys batting well above 300 again. And then going down the list, you've got a lot of guys batting above 300. 300 above 31. Wild. Doubles, Trout and Harold Ramirez with 15. Triples, Gunnar Henderson with four. That should be leading the, the majors because Lee Hoey had three. Evan Carter with three. Home runs, Judge 12, Yordan 10. A couple other guys lurking. You see Brent Rooker, Fry, and J Ram both with eight. Eloy Jimenez with eight. Runs batted in, Judge almost at 30. Eloy at 28. We'll see him very soon. Have to be careful for him. Some unexpected guys, but then some expected guys up here on this list too. Stolen bases, Tucker and Mullins both with nine. OPS. There were two in the National League here. We have eight. He guys batting above or have OPS over a thousand. Wins Cole Irvin pitching well in real life too. Him, Blackburn, and Bailey, and Eovaldi with five saves. Fairbanks a fantasy dud right now. But he leads the American League in saves, and you got a couple of guys with 10. ERA, five guys at sub two. Soroka, healthy now, at 2.01. We'll hopefully avoid him. We'll see shortly. Cole with two shutouts. Chase leading the American League in strikeouts. That's a little bit of a surprise. Castillo and Bieber not far off though. Gray and Cole with two complete games. Cole eating the innings. Oh, he'll miss a start. Whip. Mike number one. Love to see that. Also love to see Kyle at number two. I think he took some flack last year in real life for burning out at the end of the season, but he's looking good right now. Pitcher War, Eovaldi 1.4. Batting War. Judge 2.3. For the Cardinals, we'll go by position to break it down a little bit easier. But we'll go to starting pitchers first. Lance Lynn, 
has not lost a game yet since he's been back with St. Louis. Love to see it. ERA of 1.16, whip of 0.72. He has pitched very well for us so far this season. No complaints, especially with his age. We were a little bit concerned that we wouldn't get this type of performance. I mean, maybe not this, but just a pretty solid performance. But he's been fantastic. We're loving what he's doing so far for us. He's not the only one. Sonny Gray has not been bad at all. The record is not really indicating or indicative of how well he's pitched. He got a loss to the Dodgers. No surprise there. But other than that, he's been really solid in all his other starts. Matt. The interesting one, he has two wins and three starts, and we're very happy with that. He already has 3.33. I mean, he had a really ugly outing against the Marlins in a relief. It didn't even matter anyway because Matt's got the loss, but so far, so good. We'll hope to see him improve or continue improving as the season goes on, and maybe he can lock down spot in the rotation. We'll see. Miles, of course, pitching really great, 1.38. Love it with 0.79 miles is miles. Gibson record, eh, but he hasn't been bad. He got blown up in his last outing, so his ERA went up, but he has been good. Matt though, eh, 6.11 ERA, but he is now in the pen. Speaking of the pen, some really solid guys. Kittredge, he point eight seven ERA. He's got two holds, whip of 0.58. Wow. Dominant. Also, Thompson. Thompson hasn't really pitched well for me in the past, but he's doing a great job this year. 1.93 ERA, 0.75 whip. And you've even got Ryan Fernandez. He's pitching well, too. Really have no complaints for the most part. These two would be. They started out early looking ugly, especially JoJo, but they seem to pick things up. I'm hoping that this will be the case going forward and that I can rely on them as setup men. Because if not, then obviously changes will have to be made. Closer, we trust. Help. Well, Helsley, not terrible, but not as good as he was in the last franchise. He's 9 of 11 in saves. I think he didn't blow a second save until we got to like July or June, like late June. So very different. Definitely very different because of the walks. He hasn't had, his control hasn't been as good so far for us this season but still era is point from 1.42 1.18 with no one is complaining and we'll look at the batters so catchers hilarious ivan herrera has two home runs i'm pretty sure he had two home runs for an entire season last year so yeah. he's actually betting batting better than wilson Contreras. don't tell joey this because joey might try to get me to play him more Higher OBP, slugging is higher. Actually, this is quite disgusting. We're not going to talk about this, but obviously I have huge trust in Wilson Contreras. He's been productive. He's going to continue to start. Eh. First base, Paul Goldsmith. Ben, 217. So just like last year, when we switched to Legend, he started to struggle. But he has started to pick it up of late, so we're hoping to see that average get closer to 240, and then we'll go from there. So far, four home runs, 14 runs driven in. At second base, the thing that has caused me the most trouble. Who plays here? You would say Gorman, but Donovan seems to have the time we hit when we need him best. Batting 189, it's not good. But Gorman has the power. Six home runs, 12 runs driven in. The one thing that is notable is he strikes out a bit more. But more production at the plate. Not as good of a fielder. Hmm. What do you decide to do here? Because obviously Carp is going to stay at DH. What do you do? Gorman will get more at-bats. Donovan will still get some. We'll figure it out. Third base. Arnado, obviously... Off to a great start. Five home runs, 19 runs driven in. Would be half more if it weren't for him getting injured. The bat in 248, probably the best batter on our team to this point in the season. OPS is 731. Carp, tons of strikeouts, 50. Ouch. But he does have seven home runs to pace the Cardinals and 12 runs driven in. No complaints. Well, minus that. We'll fix it though, hopefully. If not, well, this has to push him down the line. If not benching Carp, we all know this. Shortstop, one guy that will get benched, Mason Wynn. He's batting 108. 
there is no defense of this. It's been rough. Trying to do everything I can to give him at bats. I'm trying to limit his appearances against really good starting pitchers. But it's been a rough go for him so far. The funny thing is, look at eight hits, seven walks. That's 15 times he's reached base if you don't include hit by pitches. And then six stolen bases. So he finds his way to second base. He just can't. He just has a hard time getting on first. Crawford will get more at bats. Only one run driven in, just missed a home run. That probably could have given us a win against Detroit in the series opener if that ball had went out just a couple more feet. But then 238, 360. The concern, of course, is he's old and he's going to decline. But we all know Crawford has a better swing. But I really want it to be win. But win has to earn it. And right now, you can see the results. He has not. Left field, Jordan Walker. Batting 233, need to see that go up, but he has definitely shown his ability to hit for power, four home runs, six doubles, so half is his hits, almost. Extra base hits, center field, Edmund, 10 stolen bases, but not batting well, but he does bat better at leadoff, that's not saying much, but it's been better. Carlson off the bench, eh, not a lot of plate appearances, but doing, no, doing okay, no complaints, solid fielder too. And then in right field, Mr. Newbar. 22 hits, 5 home runs, 11 runs driven in, 242. He's got that spot locked down. Maybe we make a move to get someone else in the outfield just to maybe upgrade. Won't push for it. We'll see. And then looking at May. So we're going to finish the series against the Tigers. So far, it's split. And then things lighten up a little bit. We've got the White Sox, three games. Eloy Jimenez is going to be a monster, but we'll take them on. The Mets for three. Speaking of the White Sox, we get Sorok. Of course we do. Why wouldn't we? we get the Mets for three. Then we'll go on the road. Milwaukee, that's going to be a big series because they're right behind us in the division. The A's, so we'll get Trout and company in a hitter's ballpark. At home against the Red Sox. At home against the Orioles. That will be a tough series. And then at home against the Cubs to finish out a nine-game home, st home stand. And then we'll go on the road to finish them off at Cincinnati. Dale Cruz will still be injured. And then the Phillies. But right now we lead the division. Let's see if we can keep things up and if we can do the same or be in the same position at the end of May.